sort of a twist on a classic cocktail called a Greyhound, which is grapefruit juice and vodka. I'm gonna make it a little more Italian. I'm gonna call it the Italian Greyhound. I was gonna call it the Italian Greyhound, but then we got this beautiful gift called Rockin' Vodka from our friend Rick Nielsen and the band Cheap Trick. So I'm now officially changing the name of this drink from the Italian Greyhound to I want you to drink me. So thank uh, you, Rick. That's so funny. The peanut gallery is laughing over there. So thanks, Rick. We're going to use your vodka right now. Very easy drink to make. I'm going to do, I'm doing an ounce and a half for each cocktail of vodka. Then we're going to add a little bit of Campari. That's the secret ingredient that makes it Italian. Then we add grapefruit juice, doing about three ounces per drink. And then just to sort of counterbalance the bitterness of the grapefruit juice and the Campari, I'm gonna you add a, a little bit. squeeze that fresh, by the way. I did. You squeeze that fresh. I'm adding a little bit of simple syrup, which is half sugar, half water, heat it up till the sugar melts and then you got simple syrup. And yes, always use fresh squeezed fruit juices in your cocktails, it'll just, there's no comparison how much better it will taste. Now we're gonna shake this up with some ice. Whoa, it's overflowing. This is a big drink. This is such a great one for weekend brunch, but also nice as a like late afternoon if you're having an early supper and you're using one of the bagels for an early supper or something. It's kind of an all, all weather cocktail. It's good in the winter, it's good in the summer, it's good for B, L, or D, as you like to say. So now I'm just straining this into- Wow, it's so pretty. Into uh, ice-filled Collins glasses or, you know, tall drink glasses. And then I'm going to garnish with a little bit of grapefruit peel. I use a veggie peeler and just twist a nice, big, pretty slice over the top of the glass. Wow, that's so pretty. Thank you. You like a straw, right? I do. Cheers to bagels!